Though India is very highly populated, almost one billion people live there, there is still room for wildlife, as here on the central plains of the country. Here we find wild buffaloes, colorful birds, roaming deer, and not least, the tiger. The Bengal tiger, as seen here, is the largest of the big cats and can weigh up to 225 kilograms and is feared by all other animals. Though there is only one species of tiger, they have over the millennia developed local characteristics dependent on climate and environment. This Lango monkey may fear the tiger, but not man, as it is considered a holy animal by the Hindus who believe it is a descendant of the god Hanumag. The vultures and the monkeys act as an early warning for the deer of the plain. The Lango is always alert, always on the lookout. Leaving India, we cross the Indian Ocean to Africa, a continent that more than any other is known for its wildlife. The area where we start is called the Horn of Africa and has large areas with grassland and scattered trees called savanna, which is the home for the other big cat, the lion. The lions live in close proximity to the zebra, their most common prey. The reason the zebra does not appear particularly nervous is because it knows that the lion is not hungry just now and therefore won't attack. The lion only kills for food. Baboons spend most of their time on the ground and normally only take to the trees at night when danger threatens. Though with both shelter and food available, it is sometimes difficult to understand why they ever descended from the trees in the first place. The crocodile is the world's largest reptile and feeds on a large variety of prey predominantly fish and birds, though they will take large mammals such as antelopes as well. 